Fallout 4's next-gen update on PC is disappointing. So there, there's been an update of around 17 gigabytes, something like that. So what's new? Well, according to Bethesda, new creation club content free for everyone. Basically, they added a quest, some power armor, and some skins, a weapon pack, Halloween workshop, and then changes and new features. Native PS5 and Xbox Series applications, yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, for the current gen consoles, now you have a 6 FPS target performance mode with 4K resolution, dynamic resolution, and normal settings. Then a quality mode targeting 30 at 4K with ultra settings. And if you're using a 120 Hz display, it's 40. So basically, we're talking about the consoles here, nothing to do with the PC version. <laughs> Releases on the Epic Games Store. Gotcha. Hopefully one day they give it away for free. Widescreen and ultra widescreen support. The game already had widescreen support. 16x9 was fine. I think you had to mod it for 21x9. Don't quote me on that. Steam Deck verified. I can, I can say that it is Steam Deck verified, but the only thing they did for this is they removed the launcher from the Steam Deck version. So you have to use a command to get the launcher back. <laughs> So you can change the graphic settings. So in my opinion, it's a downgrade now on Steam Deck. They repeat what they said above. The Creation Club items. And installed content menu, so you can see what you actually installed. There's also bug fixes, stability, which says nothing, some flickering. There's a lot of stuff here, but it's things that they should have fixed years ago. Remember, that this game is also a decade old at this point. We are in 2024, <laughs> PC only. Resolve issue preventing saves being made on the Windows usernames with Cyrillic, Chinese, or Japanese characters. Uh, remote non-functional hot load button, yeah, yeah, yeah. So all this. So you still need to use the same mods as before. This didn't fix anything for most people. But it's clear that this was going to happen, that this was going to be a disappointment. The previous thing that they said was Fallout 4 is getting free updates. They didn't say next gen on this one, but now this, they call it the next gen update and say what's actually included. Um, what to say, it's just a disappointment. I thought they were going to add a few things to the PC version, maybe, I don't know, settings in the actual in-game. For the graphics instead of going to the launcher maybe put it like on fallout 76 something like that so yeah i'm happy that it's a free update but if it wasn't a free update i would be angry instead of disappointed so yeah it's just the bare minimum the absolute bare minimum and this is more of a current gen console update that's what it is they added something to the pc version to say hey we have an next gen update on pc as well so thank you guys so much for watching. If they didn't fix the FPS lock, so it's still capped at half your refresh rate. And on the Steam Deck OLED, it says that it runs at 90 FPS, but it's actually half the frame rate. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This update is just blah. We released it on the current gen consoles, took them four years. So there you go. Lowest minimum effort possible. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.